Hey guys, it's me, Izzy, and I... <sighs> Stupid airplanes, man. I live right over the... You know, when I flew um, to Brazil, I was flying out of Fresno for the first time, which I don't... I've never flown out of Fresno before. So, I was flying out of Fresno, and I could literally see my house as we were flying overhead, and I was like, that's why I hear the airplanes all the time, because I'm in the direct fly zone. Um, Anyways, yeah, I started um, first my second semester of nursing school and a girl emailed me asking on how to do nursing care plans. So if you aren't a nursing student, this might be kind of boring for this video, but yeah, if you are a nursing student or you want to be a nursing student, this might be slightly helpful. I'm not going to do a seriously long a seriously long video about it I mean care plans are very um, tedious and long and um, they're just kind of they're there <laughs> you have to do them no matter what um, and it's kind of ridiculous because when you get out of the nursing program and you actually are in the nursing world they make it super easy for you to do care plans and they're not as in-depth as the nursing student care plan but it helps you as a student see why you are doing the things that you're doing. So a couple of books that I've used for mine. There's a lot of different nursing care plan books that you can buy. Um, so anyways, the first one that my school suggested was the Nursing Diagnosis Handbook. The reason why I like this one, and also it's by uh, Betty J. Ackley and Gail B. Lavlig, um, or uh, Mosby is the publisher. So um, the reason why I kind of like this one, first off, it has a whole lot of information in it. Um, it looks it looks kind of small compared to the other one I'm going to show you, which is like it. But it has a lot of information in it. Um, also, in the very back page, it has all of the different nursing diagnosis diagnoses um, that you have, and then it has the page number next to it, so you know exactly where to go in the book if you want to look up a certain nursing diagnosis. Um, the reason I don't like this book is that it can be very uh, complicated. Like, it's it's hard, I think, for first semester students to use this um, because you're just learning about the stuff and it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So, I mean, it does make sense once you get into it, but I when I first got this, I was like, what the crap? This doesn't make any sense. So that's that one. The other one that my coworker gave, gave me was um, Nursing Care Plans by Gulenick and Myers. Um, it's also by Mosby, but Gulenick and Myers, so that's that one. Um, and it's the fifth edition. This one is the ninth edition, so if you look at those, I'm trying to hold it still so that you can actually see what they look like, and then um, use, if you're on Amazon or whatever, to buy them. Um, the reasons why I like this book. One, they actually have a section, like they have the first section is is just like this book where it has um, the nursing diagnosis and then different things to use for it. But then when you get into this section, it actually goes by um, medical diagnosis. So for instance, if the patient has active tuberculosis, it actually has an active tuberculosis. Hello. That see. It has the active tuberculosis and then there's all of the different nursing diagnosis that can go with it, diagnoses that can go with that one. Instead of just giving, instead of you searching for it, it gives you things that could be with that diagnosis. Nursing diagnoses that go with the medical diagnoses. Sorry, I keep getting that word confused. So that's why I like this one. Also, it's easier, more, more comprehensible. I'm a nursing student. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Um, it's just easier to understand. That's what I'm looking for. Um, so I, I do like it for this one, but it doesn't have as much information in the section where it's just nursing diagnoses. It doesn't have as much information as this one. So a lot of times I actually use these together. I start out with um, this one to start writing it, and when I need to fill in gaps and I don't have as much information as I want, I use this one. Depending on your teacher, I had um, a tr my teacher last semester wanted me 
to only use my fundamentals, my fundamental nursing book, um, I was taking a fundamentals class, she only wanted me to use that book, which um, didn't, it wasn't as easy to find information in it as it was in these. Like these, you look up the diagnosis, like you just open up the back page and go, hey, there it is, you know, and then you flip to it and you have all this stuff for you. Um, and then the, the one in my actual um, fundamentals book, you really have to dig to find the clues and stuff that you're wanting. But it probably is good in a way that makes you under, really understand why you're doing the things you're doing. Um, also a note on this one that I didn't like, and they might have changed it on a newer edition, is that the back page where it has the nursing diagnosis, diagnoses, um, it doesn't give the page number where they're at, so you really have to go digging to find them. And sometimes, I like, there's some that I just cannot find in here. It's, it doesn't make sense. I don't know why, but that's how it is. Okay, so I just made, like, a whole video, and I'm at 13 minutes, so I stopped making it. Anyways, I'm going to cut out, and I'm going to do it in um, actual sections instead of doing the whole thing in one video, because that's just going to be long and tedious. But for this section, I did books, so there's the two books that I use. In the next section, we'll talk about interventions, and then rationales, and then outcomes. And then after that, you're going to want to kill yourself.